Hello and welcome to this Dune Expanded Universe video. One of the most exciting things about being a Dune fan today are the different products coming out which expand the Dune universe, which are a must-have. Of the board games, we have Dune House Secrets by Portal Games and Legendary. This board game is another one of those very exciting opportunities for the Dune Expanded Universe. The front of the box itself features Timothy Chalamet as Paul Atreides, Rebecca Ferguson as Jessica, wearing a red hood, and Dave Bautista as Raban. But one of the most special things about this game are the contents that it is made up of. The idea of the game is that players take on the role of rebels who must solve a series of challenging missions, and the players cooperate with each other to progress the story in the game. You get introductory prologues, three chapters filled with unique encounters, and an immersive type of experience. But what is special about this game is the setting and the characters. These are completely brand new characters created for this game and can almost be seen as canon from a Dune Cinematic Universe perspective. We get to learn about different characters such as Javid Dar, who was raised in a settlement near Arakeen. A loyal follower of House Atreides, he gathers information about Harkonnen treachery that occurs in Tel Jezer, a new city of Iraqis. And the interesting thing about this new city of Iraqis, Tel Jezer, is that it's an actual location near Jerusalem, so it has a lot of history linked to it. The game itself has incredible art, beautiful art that it was created by various artists. As you can see by these cards, they are laminated with fantastic artwork. You can see a woman in the Tel Jezer market, a Fremen by the looks of things, and she looks the part. What's important about this game to me is that they look realistically Fremen. They look as though they are from Iraqis. And it ties back to the references that Frank Herbert made to the Middle East. You see beautiful architecture in this artwork. And the art itself is definitely inspired by Denis Villeneuve's Dune movie. There seems to be a synergy between this game and the movie itself, especially in terms of the ornithopters. In one of these images you can see this ornithopter has a different logo, it's not an Atreides logo, it's a different one. And it looks more like a sea creature, a fish on waves. And again this ties back to the Fremen culture. This game doesn't feel like it's copying anything else, it doesn't even feel like it's copying Star Wars or Tatooine. Of course Star Wars spends a lot of time on Tatooine, but this doesn't feel like this. This feels like it's giving Iraqis its own identity, its own desert world, its own desert planet. And of of course we already know that Star Wars was inspired by Dune, but Dune House Secrets doesn't seem to clash with the Star Wars universe, so it's great to see it stand on its own and represent Iraqis and Arakeen and this new city Tel Jezer in its own unique way. The map of Iraqis is much more bigger than I imagined. And what I really like is that they have placed the new city of Tel Jezer on the map of Iraqis itself in a new location. And this has never been marked before on any map of Iraqis anywhere. Again, this is new information, exciting new world building and expanding for Dune. And Tel Jezer is close to Carthag, which was the old Harkonnen capital of Iraqis when the Harkonnen ruled. So this is an exciting, unique map for those who like to keep track of the locations of Iraqis over the course of its history. So Javid Dar is a rebel because of his hatred of the Harkonnen. He tried to infiltrate Harkonnen garrisons but the mission failed. His closest friend was captured, tortured and put to death. So, unable to recover the body, Javid suffered the grave dishonour of dehydration. But he vows to make amends and once again prove his worth to the Fremen guerrilla forces. So this is fantastic story building of Fremen. It's giving the Fremen substance and fleshing out their reality, their stories and their lives, and the reality of what it's like to live on Iraqis. Next we have Daniel Arias, who was thrust into a losing battle against the Harkonnen. When the smoke cleared, he was carried to a labour camp and was beaten, tortured and forced to reconstruct the devastation left behind in the conflict that he lost in. As time passed, Fremen guerrilla fighters found him and freed him. So this would be a man who owed a debt of gratitude to the Fremen. Again, more fantastic world building and character development. So Daniel Arias is a new character, another new character like all the others. 
Next, we have Arya Khoras, who was educated on Kaladan and an informant to Thufir Hawat himself in his spy network. One of her first missions was to collect information from the natives surrounding Tel Jezer. The timing could not have been worse because she was forced into hiding as Harkonnen staged its coup against House Atreides. So this happens just after the Harkonnen attacked the Atreides in Denis Villeneuve's Dune movie. This is essentially a sequel to that movie, and who knows, maybe they'll appear in Dune Part 2. She was hunted down and captured by Harkonnen spies, and suffered in captivity until she was freed by a mysterious person called Zarzur. Again, an interesting new character for the Dune Expanded Universe. And finally, we have Gora Malik, who grew up near Tel Jezer in solitude and poverty. Eventually, she stumbled into a career with a local black market trade, dealing in spice smuggling primarily. Gora refused to provide bribes to corrupt officials, and her enemies delivered her to House Harkonnen, stripped her of her wealth, and imprisoned her. Eventually, Gora was freed in an attack against the prison by the Fremen guerrilla forces. So all these characters seem to be linked in some way to the Fremen, and in these honourable acts they free people from slavery and captivity and torture. So it's a very interesting way to build the storyline of the Fremen, and pave the way for Denis Villeneuve's Dune Part 2. The game features incredible artwork by Marce Yannick and Mateus Kopac, who have created some truly beautiful pieces of artwork for this game. Just like Dune Adventures in the Imperium, Dune House Secrets delivers on the artwork, the storytelling, and the interesting gameplay. So again, I highly recommend this, and I believe it's a must-have for the Dune lovers. If you'd like to get your hands on the Dune House Secrets game, follow the links in the description below. A huge thank you to Portal Games for sending these to me. There are some supplementary materials which are limited, so get them while you can. Check out some of my other Dune reviews, or some of my other Dune videos here.